Hello and welcome back to our tutorial on Exercise Tracker, the CodeDojo App Inventor project. Uh, as always, if you're joining us in the middle, you might want to start at video number one. We were just about to tackle the third, or I guess second part, if you don't count the introduction. Uh, we, we have done the coding exercise and we're just about to calculate the total. So, now as I've explained in the previous video, this is my first App Inventor project too. So, you have to bear with me here. Um, still, uh, uh, notionally, I am a software engineer. I should be able to work this. I mean, how difficult can it be, right? So, uh, in order to get our total, we're going to create a new global variable that you remember from video to the difference between global variables and local variables. If you don't, no big deal, because all you have to do is we're going to pick up global. So that's a brown initially is global, and we're going to chuck a zero in there. Uh, we need a, a, a zero block from the math <coughs> package which is fair because zero is a number and that's technically maths. Every time you save a new time, we're going to have to add it to the value of total time. So this is when the button is clicked, right? This is where we're actually taking the value of the text that's in the text box, putting it into our local variable minutes, and then adding minutes to the minutes list. All right, um, well, let, let, let's start with total time. So we are in blocks here. Yeah. Uh, that's a variable, initialize global, total, remember camel case, total time, so lowercase t and then uppercase t, two maths, we're going to pick the zero block, I mean it's not just the zero block, you can put any old number or probably just number because it's maths, right? So we start like that, initialize global total time to zero and then within that thing, um, actually we can probably put it underneath there because, do we? I don't know, let's see what they have done. Uh, so we're going to set global time, so total time, uh, set global total time to, and then this is a maths block, take an addition block, um, and then the addition, I can find the blocks, yeah, that's happened to me last video, yeah, all right, fair enough, we know that. Um, on the left side, get global total time. So we're going to take total time and add the value of mint. And this is why we need this set to be within that, I'm going to call that, what, is that a bracket, a caliper, a sort of wrapper, a scope, within the scope where mint exists, because it's local to whatever locks are just in between the legs of that pinch of that pincer, of that, you get it, right? Like the shape I'm trying to describe here. All right, so let's do that. Um, it's a set uh, of a global, so that's inviable. Uh, is it inviable? Yes, it is inviable. We set here, we select what we want, which is the global minutes list. Two, we're gonna pick a math block with an addition. What's this little cog? Oh, okay, just, just happened. Ooh, look at you. Is that, can I drag this? Ooh. Oh, wow, amazing. So this is the structure of your block. So you can define like what kind of operators you have. In that case, it's a plus, and in that case, two numbers. But you could, uh, I'm very excited by this. As I said, it is my first project too. So I'm discovering um, App Inventor, and so far, I am extremely impressed. All right, so to get, um, this is total time, not minutes list. Uh, yeah, total time. To get global total time, we need to hover over, just lift the mouse over the name of total time and get the get, get the get, get the get block. Um, we're taking the total time and we're adding mins, which is our local variable, and we're getting that here. And this looks a lot like what it should look like. Now, if you can't find the blocks, so your get and set live where you've initialized the variable. So if you want to get if you want to get all set, I don't know, in this instance, total time, you put your mouse over total time where you've initialized it and then you get it. You can also pick it up from variables, get and set, and then you select the variables in your drop-down. Now, let's close that. Back to the main action. Now, display the total so the user can see it. Now, we go back to the design of view and add two more labels to our app. So the text property of the first one to total minutes exercise, and the text property of the second label so that it's blank, and make note of its label name, for example, label two, so that you can set it to the total in your code. Let's do that real quick. So it's in designer. We want labels, they're here. The first one is going to be here. We're picking a text, 
So properties on the right bottom, and we want to see to say total total minutes exercise something like that. Total minutes exercise column minutes exercise column boom. Press enter to refresh, and then it does that. And then a second label, and we're going to make the text blank. It's called label two, and that's fine. Probably, can we rename it? Yeah, we could rename it like, let's call it total, so that we know what it is, because we just go and fetch it and refer to it by name. Uh, if you want to change the side and color of the labels, I don't really want to, but I feel like I've got to show you how it works. I'm going to do it anywhere. I've made mine blue and checked font bold to make them bold and change the font size on the second label to 50. All right, uh, uh, I'm going to go for green, if I'm honest. Uh, can I select more than one label at a time? No. All right, one by one then. So uh, this is going to be a uh, ball, ball, and. 40, yeah, that's fine. Um, text color, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm think I'm feeling whew, that's very. Mm, I'm gonna go custom. You know what? I'm going to go custom, and my the best shade of orange is uh, hex code for. Oh, <laughs> see, <laughs> this happens to me all the time. I'm always like, yeah, looking for. Uh, there's tomato, orange, red, and gold. I think I think mm, orange. I think is FF. Yeah, FF five zero zero. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that's a sweet shade of orange. I'm liking this a lot. All right, and for total, um, make that fifty. Was it? Make that bold. And should we want a background color? Yeah, boom. Let's have a. a Oh, this is gonna. This is gonna. <laughs> how, about, how about some tasteful grey? And we don't want it to kind of. Oh, there's already orange in here. Hmm, is that the same orange? Oh no, that's 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 not that's not the right orange. This FFA5. No. FFA500. That looks like there's too many Fs there. That should just be. Yeah, FFA500. A five zero zero, yeah, that's better. Done. All right. Um, let's just look. If I put like eighty minutes, uh, just just I just want to see what it looks like. All right. On a gray background, do we like the gray background? Or oh, maybe we can do like um, yeah. Let's make it look a bit layouty. Um, horizontal arrangement again. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going freestyle here because yeah. That's the power of the thing. I, I can make, you know, I mean, it used to be, you you don't realize how lucky you are, but it used to be that to get that stuff, like, working correctly, it was just, like, a nightmare, tech like, forever, and now, bang, we're going to put it in the center, total minutes exercise. Can I make, like, mm, I think I want a background, like, same, like, gray? Is it, hmm, ah, but that's the background for the label, not the background for the left side of the horizontal, ah, here, so that's the horizontal arrangement. How about dark grey? Mm, no, let's have grey. All right, having played with the, with the stuff, uh, yeah, let's remove the AT because we want that to be blank, and now let's do the actual meat of the thing, which was to actually, uh, you know, get the blocks in and, you know, a lot of stuff and whatever. Uh, font size 50, switch back to blocks, yeah, set label text to yeah, set level text to get global time, block your code. So this is after the, the button save. I mean, you, you, you can guess, like, because of the orange here. And my phone's ringing, so I'm going to leave you here.